percent of Kiwis now always or mostly eat plant-based meals, according to a recent Colmar Brunton survey. And among the newcomers to the expanding market, oats are being processed as a popular alternative for milk. Sean Hogan has more. It's the newest drop on the alternative milk shelf, but boring oat milk is anything but. A lot of companies send products, you know, send oats overseas or they'll get their products made in Sweden, sent it back here. The oats are grown in the South Island and processed and packaged in Hawke's Bay, making it the first and only fully New Zealand-based oat milk operation. I mean, if you're comparing it to dairy, it's 11 times less land use, uh, 13 times less water, and like six times less fertiliser, which is pretty incredible, and that's not even to mention, you know, the greenhouse gas emissions as well. Otago University's Food Science Department has been studying the cereal and believes it's a suitable crop to diversify from more traditional farming practices. If you have too much nitrogen in the soil, that uh, oats can also help to absorb and reduce uh, to the excess to the river. Kiwis are becoming increasingly keen for sustainable alternatives. A Colmar Brunton survey from last year found that nearly 50 percent of Kiwis have deliberately switched to a brand that is more sustainable but with new products coming on the market all the time there is a warning not to get sucked into greenwashing. The Sustainable Business Network says consumers should pick products that align with their ethics. If you genuinely care about these things it really does make sense to read what's in these products to make sure you know about them um, because otherwise you're going to be making some really poor choices. Nutrients should also be an important consideration. Whether they use the whole uh, plant as a resource, once you're adding one component like protein extract or it is just a fibre, you, you will miss the overall content of the value from that crop. In this growing market, boring oat milk's got high hopes for the humble grain, aiming to make it as prominent as dairy. Sean Hogan, One News.